my dear students, how are you today? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is module 9, song part 2. But first, let's listen to our school vision. The school vision, to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. As a wonderful student, I am always kind, raise my hand before I speak, always try my best, listen when someone is speaking, respect and listen to my teacher, follow COVID-19 safety rules. Life lesson rules, be respectful to your teacher and classmates. Be active and engaged. Don't unmute your mic. Raise your hand if you would like to speak. Do you have everything you need? Students' book, workbook, pen or pencil. A quiet place and ready to learn. You will find this lesson on your student book page 103, workbook page 91. Make sure you open the book on the correct page and let's start. Now, let's play a game. Look at the picture and decide if it is good or bad for the environment. Good job! It's Bad. Look at the smoke and the, the cars. Look at the picture and decide if it's good or bad for the environment. Look at this man who is putting something in the uh, recycling bin or the garbage bin. It's good. Look at this man, he is planting trees. Of course, it's good for our environment. Look at the picture and decide if it's good or bad for in the environment. It's bad, very good. Can we do like this boy? No, it's bad. Wow, they are biking. Very good. It's useful for our environment. Let's say our objectives for today. Identify the usage of to and enough. Use to and enough correctly. Now, let's move to our student book page 103 activity 2 do you remember our beautiful song which is talking about save the environment and there are many ways to help our environment and save our environment like through the rubbish in the rubbish bin recycle every day to turn off the light and also to uh, plant more trees. Now, let's start our lesson today. Uh, look at these sentences. It's easy enough to start recycling today. You're never too old, you're never too young to save Save, save the environment. You are never too old, you're never too young to save the environment. It's not, uh, it's not too hard to make the world cleaner and it's not too late to make the earth greener. So today we are going to talk about 
to and in on. Look at this example. He can't drive. Why? He is too young. As we notice here, too is followed by the adjective, too young. So he is too young, that means he can't drive. So we use to, to, to talk about inability. We can combine these two sentences to make one sentence like he can, this boy is too young to drive the car. Another example. Look at this man. Look at this bag. He can't carry the bag. Why? He isn't strong enough. As we notice here, the adjective is followed by enough. He isn't strong enough to carry the bag. He isn't strong enough. Why? To carry the bag. We use adjective enough plus two plus the verb. He isn't strong enough to carry the bag. We combine these two sentences and they make one sentence like this. He isn't strong enough to carry the bag. Now let's move to our grammar reference one. Page 133, to plus the adjective. We use to plus the adjective like this example. I don't want to visit the uh, South Moon. It's too cold. So why we don't uh, like to visit the South Pool? Because it's too cold. Another example, adjective plus enough. Weather is warm enough, let's go for a picnic. We can say also enough plus the noun. There is enough snow so we can go snowboarding. Two adjective, two verb. The little birds are too young. To find food. Adjective enough to plus the verb. Adjective enough to the verb. The giraffe is tall enough to reach the top of the tree. Now let's go to the work of the book, page 91, activity 2. Read and complete with two or enough. The children aren't old to ride the roller coaster. Aren't old. Yes, aren't old enough. Very good. When I see not, it's better to use enough. You can pause the video for a while to read and answer. Let's check the answer together. The children aren't old enough to ride the roller coaster. Tim can't win in race. He isn't fast enough. Hakim can't drive. He's too young. I can't reach the top of the cupboard. I am not tall enough. It's too late to watch a documentary now. Are you strong enough to carry this bag, this big box with me? I can't do this activity. It's too difficult. I I want you now to write the answer in your workbook. Now let's move to the student book again, page 103, activity 3. 
Look at the picture. Then talk in pairs about what the people can or can't do. Use to or in. Let's look at uh, sentence number one. Mr. Smith slash old slash ride a bike. Look at this man. Is this man can ride a bike? No, because he is too old. Oh, he is old. So, Mr. Smith, let's see how do we can use to or in. Mr. Smith is too old to ride a bike. Another example. My brother not tall go on the roller coaster. When I see not, so it's better to use enough. My mother, my brother isn't tall enough to go on the roller coaster. Let's go to number three. My, my sister slash old slash cook. Yes, my sister is not old enough to cook. You can do number four by yourself. Now let's go to activity uh, number three in our workbook page 91. Complete the sentences about yourself. I am too young to, I am old enough to, I can't, it's not, it's too, I can't, I am enough. Let's see the example. I am too young to drive a car. Or I am too young to cook. You can write about yourself. I am old enough to play football or to speak English. I can't drink this tea. It's too hot. I can't eat now. I am not hungry enough. Don't forget to write down the answer in your workbook. Here we have reached to the end of our lesson today. I hope you are enjoying the video. Thank you for, be for being amazing. Have a lovely day.